Welcome to Suzerain. This is a fascinating political journey, and that's what I'm going to call it, a political journey. You may have played games before, such as Rogue State, where you are a dictator that has to survive in a country, etc. This game is far more complex than that. And in Suzerain, you start as a child, and you get to actually decide your very upbringing, your, you know, your childhood, your teenage years, your adulthood. You get to decide your political leanings. You get to make all of these decisions, and then and only then do you become president of a country. Through being turned back time and actually create an authoritarian state, you're going to have police, judges, senators to deal with, other politicians, and even family. This game is very text-heavy, so be prepared from that. As you can see here, just starting, I'm going to decide to say I am from an impoverished family in the city of Dair. And these places actually do exist in the game. But you can see that this is going to go all the way from here through a civil war, through a revolution as well. And I'm going to be forced to make a number of different decisions. So here we go. I'm somewhat worried that the day is off here in the formation of the Republic. After graduation, we pass with high marks. Let's go to a law school. And from here, of course, we should be able to get some interesting uh, things to happen. He stated that laws should be applied fairly, and that even the members of the Supreme Court are subject to the same laws. So even starting here in the game, you're already making decisions and determinations for how you're going to be dealing with things as president. And I am going to say that I agree in principle. So we're going to be a very pro-democratic president. But again, you can make any sort of president you want. You can make a revolutionary, a dictator, um, or a really, really, you know, democratic president like the one I'm making now. So I am going to protest with the students, and of course this causes a tremendous amount of problems with the soldiers they have charged. Everybody starts running away, but we held our ground. The soldiers beat you relentlessly. It was a gloomy year. And as you can see, we're going through these things, you know, as if this was our actual life. We later became part of a human rights group. So here we go, once again, in one of the meetings, our friends... We were attracted to it, her intelligence. Now, something is going to happen here where I get to determine whether I join the Red Youth or the Young Swords. And these are the two main um, sort of political organizations in the game. The Red Youth, as you can imagine, socialists, uh, and the Young Swords, more right-wing nationalists. So you've got the right and the left constantly at each other's throats. Over here, I'm going to join the Red Youth, but believe it or not, later in this video, I'm playing as a Young Sword nationalist. So make of that what you will. Now, of course, um, communists took over the actual area. Rickard's attack sudden caused more instability in the country, but compared to fascist Lutheran, he was a real socialist. This convinced you to participate in a support march. So, Workers of the World Unite is going to be our chant. The students opposing the coup gathered a few hundred meters in front of you. Many nationalists among them. You knew something was going to happen. You stayed. Once again, we stayed throughout all of this. There was a massive clash. We're going to try and run to save a girl, get run over by a tank, but we can't do anything about it, and unfortunately, she is crushed to death. We never forget that face, and again, that's a memory that we will remember later on in the game. So, as you can see, we're just kind of working our way towards um, the actual presidential situation, but like I said, this is just part of the game. This game is, is separated into so many fascinating little tidbits, because this initial part is just you kind of setting up the story of your character. That's it. And then, only then, do you actually get into the actual game itself. You could almost say that this alone could be its own text-based game, to be honest with you. So Suzerain will have you having meetings with, you know, your media conglomerates, your perhaps economic ministers, things like this. So right now we're just kind of learning about the current media situation and uh, pretty much the CEO of the recent HOS conglomerate, a media company, uh, is deciding to go ahead and perhaps and, you know, be part of our government or be by our side. So we could, of course, say there's potential here or just ask what this productive collaboration entails, which I do want to know. And um, pretty much we're probably going to have to cut them a little check for them to show our government a positive light. But this may be worth uh, looking into. So I'm going to say the media is a tool to be used. And again, this is just one of the many decisions you can make initially in Suzerain as you're forming your government. Now, of course, you're going to have to deal with niceties, too. You can't simply just always be aggressive unless that's the president you're going for. Right now, we're trying to get Mr. Caronti to actually start working with us. 
and I think I'm going to be interested in a meeting with him for the future. So let's see him later and perhaps decide then exactly uh, what we're going to do. As we click here again, we can see that we also have a briefing on the current economic situation. So now we can meet with an economic minister and yet another example of just how deeply you can actually fiddle and mess with your state to make the most interesting state possible, or the one that lasts the longest, as well, at least. Now, you're not just going to be dealing with the people, of course, you're going to be dealing with the Supreme Court and potentially even the National Assembly. Now, depending on the kind of government you run, the National Assembly may not have that much power. In this particular situation, we have to try and sign a campaign finance bill, and I am going to go ahead and put my signature on it, getting it passed, and moving the game a little bit farther. But again, depending on what happens here, you may or may not have that assembly to worry about. Now, I told you guys there's an economic side to the game, and right now there's an Arcasian company. Uh, and they're actually selling quite a few stocks. I think I'm actually going to buy some shares, but I'm only going to make it a thousand shares of this particular um, stock. And as you can see, that personal wealth will go down. Um, that will increase or decrease depending on the decisions you make. Looks like we also have a reception at an inaugural ball here, and you will have all these social events which you of course have to visit. A lot of them have to do with your family, things like that. Um, some of them have to do with other politicians, and depending on how you react, it's gonna affect you later in the game. There's definitely a very um, sort of story-driven element to this game, a sort of Sims element almost, where you have to make the best ruler or the meanest ruler or the mo most charismatic ruler, uh, and that's something that I think is quite fascinating here. At a certain point in the game, something very interesting happens that's going to change the future of your playthrough forever, and that is that an attempt is made on your life. How you deal with this attempt is going to determine pretty much the rest of the game and how you proceed. Now occasionally you'll have some very serious situations to react to, especially in reaction to, you know, possibly some uprisings or just some protests. Um, and I think what I'm going to do here is expand the police by deploying all recruits in training. Try to keep things simple, but also take control of a very complex situation involving riots. Ultimately, whatever decision you make can have far-reaching consequences, which can truly affect your game later on, and of course the future of your country. In this particular short playthrough, I'm actually playing as a nationalist leader, and um, the person, well, I don't want to give away too much, but basically let's just say that the organization that's affected me negatively the most has been the Red Youth. So I'm going to ban the Red Youth here uh, as a presidential order, but I'm keeping the nationalist um, other group, of course, the, the nationalist uh, youth group. So that, of course, has its own consequences. You get all these different reports as you go through these groups or, or make these decisions, and these reports are extremely detailed. And I mean really, really detailed. Depending on what you've done, different things are going to happen. For instance, here, not supporting a certain mine project. Now a mine has collapsed. And you can go all throughout the entire country here and find a ton of different stories. So in terms of this game being text-heavy and story-heavy, I would say it very much is. And if that's your thing, it's, it's a pretty awesome game, honestly. Here we have a finalization of drafted constitutional changes. And again, this gets us into another talking situation. There are a lot of back and forth uh, discussions in this game, meetings, even barbecues and picnics. So if you like talking and you like, you know, communicating with characters in game, this is going to be the game for you. Depending on how you choose to run your country is going to determine how far you actually make it in the game and what path your character actually takes. Will he be remembered as a great president or an absolutely awful dictator? It's completely up to you. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video, keep in mind we put a lot of work into these videos. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. If you like these videos and want to see me live, make sure to check out my Twitch. It's the same name as here, Agrippa Maxenius, and follow me there. I really do appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.